Here and there, then and now, you will need to grab system and hardware information about your machine. Today we are going to learn many commands that will give you detailed information about the machine you are typing them into. The first must know command is the uname command. It prints out basic information about your system. Options you add after it will determine what kind of information you are getting from it. We'll try them all. To know only the system name, type uname without any options. To view your network host name, add option, N. For kernel version, add option V. For kernel release, option, R. To print your machine hardware name, use option, M. And to print all of information that uname command can give you, add option, A. Other than that, you can combine options as you like. To gather vast information about your hardware components such as CPU, disks, memory, USB controllers etc., use the LSHW command. Remember that the LSHW command is executed by a super user. You can print a summary of your hardware information by using the short option. If you wish to generate output as a HTML file, you can use the option HTML. To view information about your CPU, use the lscpu command, as it shows information about your CPU architecture such as number of CPUs, cores, CPU family model, CPU caches, threads, etc. You can get even more information about CPU, if you output the content of the CPU info file, located in the proc directory. Block devices are storage devices such as hard disks, flash drives etc. LSBLK command outputs information about block devices. If you want to list all block devices on your system, then include the option A. The LSUSB command reports information about USB controllers, and all the devices that are connected to them. You can use the V option to generate a detailed information about each USB device. PCI devices may include USB ports, graphics cards, network adapters etc. The LSPCI tool is used to generate information concerning all PCI controllers on your system, plus the devices that are connected to them. Use the T option to produce output in a tree format. Or option V. To produce detailed information about each connected device. Next command is LSS, CSI. It's usually not pre-installed. Use it to view all SCSI or SATA devices. Add option S to show device sizes. You can find information on specified SATA devices using HDPARM utility. To print information about device geometry in terms of cylinders, heads, sectors, size and the starting offset of the device, use the G option. Although the main function of the FDISC command is to modify file system partitions, it can also be used to view information about the different partitions on your file system. DMI decode utility extracts hardware information, by reading data from the DMI tables. Use the T option and specify what hardware information you want. There are many other ways you can use to obtain information about your system hardware components. Most of these commands use files in the slash proc directory to extract system information. Use help commands from previous lessons that we learned, and study more about this commands if you think that extracting system information is going to be helpful. <laughs>